good morning students i hope you all are safe at your home so today let us begin with the lecture 2 of chapter 3 auxiliaries and modals of grammar this is class 10th subject english topics to be covered today modals modal auxiliaries then we shall discuss today these modals will shall would should ought to need have to had to dare and used to in lecture 1 we completed can could may might and must so let us begin with modal auxiliaries main modal verbs these are can could may might must shall will should ought to and would so modal auxiliaries are used to show possibility ability permission and obligation they do not change their forms according to the number and person of the subject they are always followed by the present form of the verb means first form of the verb these modals we completed in our lecture 1 in type we have ability permission possibility prohibition or compulsion or necessity for ability we read can could be able to these express ability then can could may express permission means these are used to express permission then might may could can these show possibility then must expresses prohibition compulsion and necessity so these we have already done and here are some examples modals what are modal auxiliaries these are verbs which are used with main verbs like can must could would etc modal auxiliaries do not change according to the gender and number of the subject means if i say i can if i change the subject you can he can she can they can here the modal verb will not be changed modal verbs have only one form there are some characteristics of modal verbs they never change their form you can't add s ed or ing to any modal they are always followed by an infinitive without to for that is the bare infinitive means first form of the verb they are used to indicate modality allow speakers to express certainty possibility willingness obligation necessity and ability so let us begin with will it is more commonly used to talk about future situations to talk about the present when we want to make a request and it is also used in situations in which we make instant decisions means will is used with the second person and the third person to form future tense like he will get good marks they will help you so this expresses her future tense and will is used with the first person to express willingness intention determination promise threat certainty commitment etc and in interrogative sentences will is used with second of second person to show polite request and polite invitation like will you open the window please and it is also used to express habits 
now here are some examples he will call you later it is used for future action then will you close the window please it is a request i loved that t-shirt i will take it here it expresses instant decision and some more examples are there we will get good marks in exam here it is determination i will go to delhi next sunday here uh, it is certainty i will teach him a lesson here it is a threat now let us move to shell shell is used actually in the sense of simple future with the first person means for showing just uh, future indefinite we use shall with i and v for example i shall study this book we shall go to school tomorrow so here it is used for general future so shall is more commonly used with the first person singular and plural means i and v and it is often found in suggestions it is used for expressing suggestions and promise and pre destinations fine so here are some examples so let us read those shall we set the table it is a suggestion i shall never leave your side it is a promise she shall become our next queen here it is used for pre destination shall i shut this window this is a kind of offer so these are the examples of shall the next is would it is more commonly used to create conditional verb tenses in addition it can be used to make offers requests and talk about past habits actually would is past form of will would is used to refer to the past form of will and shall in an indirect speech it is used to express past habits it is used to express polite request in the present tense and it is also used to express wish and it is used to express preference also and for conditional sentences now let us discuss some examples if i were you i would not do that again it is second conditional in second conditional in if clause we use past indefinite and in sub uh, in the principal clause we use would plus first form of the verb next is would you like some cake it is a it is a kind of offer then would you turn down the volume please it is a polite request we would swim in the dam for hours when we were kids so here it is expressing past habits for unreal condition also we use like in second conditional we have done that had you worked hard you would have passed if i were the prime minister i would have removed poverty from india other modas which can be used to make conditional sentences are could might will and should for example i uh, if i knew her name i might tell i could have told you the truth if you had listened to me if i should see him i will give him the message next is should so it is very important modal and it is past form of shall this verb is the past form of shall it is used for obligation or duty for example you should look after your child this is your duty it is used to give advice for example you should take a lawyer lawyer advice 
so it is a kind of advice it is used to express purpose for example he should work hard to win the match it is also used to state imaginary results for example he should get married to an educated doctor it is also used for the request for example i will be thankful if you should grant me leave for today so these are the uses of should so i am repeating should is used to express obligation on duty it is also used to express advice suggestion assumption and lest is always followed with should and it expresses objective for example run fast lest you should miss the train and it also used to express supposition like should you bring sweets share them with us next is need this form of a verb is usually followed by an infinitive without to it is mainly used in questions and negatives for example you need not to attend the funeral the negative form need not is used as needn't need does not change with the third person singular or the present tense example he need not attend the meeting then it is used to express absence so these are uses now it is used to express <coughs> absence example you need not to send the letter of request it is used to express necessity for example need i have to solve all the questions today next is it is used to express unnecessary action this rule is applied for need not with the perfect infinitive for example you needn't have to go to the market as it is raining so these are examples of need now let us talk about have to and had to have to it is used to express obligation in the present while had to do in the past it is used for external obligation by some authority or circumstances had to it is used for describing something that belongs to the past for example i had to reach there in time you had to go now let us discuss the uses of have to it is used to express obligation for example they have to look after her child next is it is used for giving advice for example you have to study hard to score well next is it is used for the logical logical conclusion for example there must be some reason for marrying her it is also used to indicate something important for example they will have to clear their doubts to appear for a presentation so these are the uses of have to and had to next modal auxiliary is ought to it is used to advise or make recommendation and it is used to express assumption expectations or strong probability when the context implies that something is deserved means ought to is used to express moral duty strong possibility desirability and recommendation let us discuss its examples she ought to stop eating red meat this is recommendation 
Next is the example. Sam ought to get a promotion. Here it is used. It is expressing her expectation because he deserves it. Those apartments ought to increase in value due to the construction of the new mall. Here it is assumption. So these are the examples of ought to. Next is dare and used to. Dare. It means boldness and anger. Dare means to venture. It is used actually in negative and interrogative sentences. For example, I dare not do such things. How dare you talk like this? Next is used to. Used to is actually used to express the past habit and to express something that existed in the past or to compare past with present. For example, I used to walk for one hour every morning. Here are some more examples. You dare not touch the electric wires. She dare not speak harshly with her boss. When my sister was young, she used to play with dolls. When I was five, I used to quarrel with my siblings. So these are the uses of dare and used to and some examples. Let us discuss some more examples. These are modals. First of all, can and then examples are given after that uses. Can is used to express ability, suggestion and request. In examples, we have he can find any street in London. Here it is <coughs> expressing ability. Then you can take a taxi. It is a suggestion. Can you take me to Victoria Station? This is a request. Next is be able to. He is able to find any street in London. This is ability. Be able to means that a person is able to do something. Can't. That story can't be true. Certainty that something is impossible. This cannot be possible. Then could. I could play tennis when I was younger. This is showing here past ability. Then next sentence. Could you take me to Victoria Station? Here this is a request and this is very polite request. For polite request we use could and would. You could take a taxi. It is also a kind of suggestion. Then next it is may. It may be quicker to travel by train. This is expressing possibility. Then may I come in? This is formal request or permission. There are mainly three uses of may. For possibility it is used. For formal request or formal permission. And for expressing wish or prayer. Next is might. It might be quicker to travel by train. Here once again possibility. But might expresses less possibility, weak possibility. Must. You must be back at 10 o'clock. This is obligation. Look at the snow. It must be cold outside. Certainty that something is true. Next is have to. You have to be back at 10 o'clock. Obligation. Then need to. That we have done already. You need to study a lot. Obligation. Then need not. You needn't have a university degree. Lack of. Obligation. Then must, uh, must not or mustn't. You mustn't drive without a license. This is prohibition. Don't have to. You don't have to call a taxi. Lack of obligation. The next is 
should you should try more carefully here this is used to express opinion or advice then ought to you ought to drive more carefully once again opinion or advice now let us discuss about your homework you all are supposed to do these two exercises and these are given in the form of mcqs options are given to you first sentence she looks pretty sick i think she dash go to a doctor here options are should or can so you have to choose one appropriate option means filling the blanks with the appropriate modal auxiliaries next sentence is you have been driving all day you dash be exhausted you dash smoke so much it is bad for your health hey i am lost dash you help me fifth sentence you have such a beautiful voice you dash sing for us sixth sentence i know her he speaks five languages but dash he speak arabic seventh that looks very expensive it dash have cost a fortune eighth i dash believe that you failed your test ninth i am on my way i dash be there in about 10 minutes 10th i dash for that and options are can't and shouldn't so you all are supposed to find out the correct answer you have to choose one option now next exercise dash you go already you only arrived an hour ago options are given must should can next is when he was young he dash swim very well he won medals and championships had to can could next is the company dash go bankrupt if they don't find a lot of money quickly options are given should shouldn't might then next is you look very confused by the homework clive dash i help you options are will can must then this next sentence is given and in options may could shouldn't are given then it is wet and windy outside today you dash go out without an umbrella in options shouldn't want don't have to are given i think that sign means we dash enter the building look there is a security guard too this is seventh question then eighth is lindsay watched the movie in french and dash understand very much of it so i hope you all have understood what you have to do in your homework and i hope you all have understood all modal auxiliaries so you have to complete these exercises and send me the snapshots if you like our videos please press the like button and subscribe our channel thank you